solve the equation and check the solution. 0 0.06 times the quantity x plus 20 plus 0 0.08 times the quantity x minus 10 is equal to 4.6. I'd like to start here by multiplying both sides through by 100 to clear out these decimal values. So let's take 100 times the left. And we'll take 100 times the right-hand side as well. Now, on the left, we need to distribute this 100 to both of our terms. 100 times 0 0.06 gives a product of 6. And then we'll take that product times the quantity x plus 20. With our second grouping, 100 times that 0 0.08 gives 8. Then we take that product times x minus 10. On the right-hand side, 100 times 4.6 is going to move that decimal point over two places and give 460. Back to the left, distributing, we have a 6x plus 120 plus 8x minus 80 is equal to 460. Combining like terms on the left, 6x plus 8x is 14x. 120 minus 80 is 40. Now using our addition property of equality, subtracting 40 from both sides, leaves 14x on the left. 460 minus 40 is 420. As a last step, let's divide both sides by 14 giving x by itself is equal to 420 divided by 14 is 30. Now let's quickly check this solution. If we substitute x equal 30 into the original equation, that gives a 0 0.06 times 30 plus 20 plus 0 0.08 times a 30 minus 10, is that equal to 4.6? I'm going to go ahead and leave these decimals in and work with them here. 30 plus 20 is 50, so we'll have a 0 0.06 times 50, plus a 0 0.08 times the difference between 30 and 10 is 20. Is that equal to a 4.6? Well, 0.06 times 50 yields the number 3, and 0 0.08 times 20 gives a 1.6, and we can see that, yes, indeed, we get a 4.6 on both sides. This is a true statement, so we feel comfortable that the correct solution is 30. Let's say, then, that the solution set is the number 30.